People who run marathons are probably going to hate me after this video. So let's just start at the beginning. Six weeks before the Dublin Marathon was due to start, I got a text and it said, do you want to run the Dublin Marathon? And I was like, I don't even have a pair of runners. And the second thought that came to my head was, I don't even like running. But the text was from a charity that meant so much to me, so I couldn't say no. Please show how unprepared I am for this marathon. I quite literally don't have a pair of runners, so I had to go out and buy a pair. Marathon prep, step two, is done. Normally people would probably have the runners a year in advance, but I'm machine and I don't like doing things properly. So we have them 57 days in advance. And so we set off on the impossible task of being able to run a marathon in six weeks when I didn't even have runners to start off with. So before we get to actually what went on during the marathon, I have a couple of lessons to teach you guys before we get And there. whether you wanna run a marathon or you couldn't give a about running, I'm sure that these are gonna help you out in some way throughout your life. And what better lesson to start off with other than not everything needs to be perfect to start. Talk about imperfection. I hadn't even a pair of runners six weeks out from a marathon that people normally train six months for. And only to add to that list, I absolutely hate running. And had no one in my close circle that could give me any advice or an idea of what running a marathon is like because nobody had fucking done so it. So you might be sat here wondering why the hell did I say yes to running a marathon I then. said yes because there's never a perfect time the best time to start would have been yesterday but the next best time is today. so that I did I got up that day I ran five kilometers well I tried to run five kilometers I actually failed and I didn't finish it because I had a hip injury <laughs> and so the next day I actually ended up at doctors who told me that it was a stupid idea to run a marathon and six weeks training went into the doctors because I had such a bad pain in my lower stomach I actually thought I was gonna have to get my appendix out turns out it was just a bad groin strain um, and so he prescribed me anti-inflammatories probably not the typical start to someone's marathon Marathon training program, but marathon prep has started. I've gotten myself anti inflammatories and we are a go. But back to the lesson even when it comes to me losing 60 pounds and keeping it off, nothing's ever been perfect. It wasn't perfect when I started, it's not perfect now. And if I waited around for it to be perfect, I would have achieved nothing. I never would have started, or if I did start on perfection, I fecked up so many times when it came to my weight loss journey. So don't rely on perfection to make progress because then you'll never make it. I just part about exercise. Just putting on the shoes. This run just double confirms I fucking hate running. Every single step of this run felt like someone was kicking me straight in the balls. It's so funny because so many people think because I'm a personal trainer, because I'm a person that's trying to run a marathon, that I don't stop and walk. There's a part of that run there where I actually thought I wasn't going to finish. I was like, fuck, I'm not able for this. And the first thing that came to my mind was like, holy shit, the marathon's running like 30 days and I can't even run a fucking 5k. How am I going to do it? And that overwhelm made me stop. It wasn't even that I was really tired and my legs were fucked. It was just that that overwhelm got to me. And I stopped and I thought to myself about, like, over the last year, how many times overwhelm has got to me and what I did. And every single time I was overwhelmed, the only thing I ever did was put one foot in front of the other and keep going. One step, start back running. He went, if I have to stop again, I'll figure it out. I'll start going. If it comes to the marathon and I run 5K and I'm f***ing, I'll figure it out. I'll just keep going. I'll walk the rest if I have to. And that's the thing. I feel like overwhelm can hold a lot of us back or make us feel like we're not giving, doing enough or not doing well enough so most of us give up so that's a lesson I want you all to take home because sometimes overwhelm when we have a million and one different things we need to do like if it's weight loss, a calorie deficit, get out, get our steps in, make sure we keep our protein intake up it can paralyze us, paralyze us to the point where we just do nothing at all the thing is to try, to attempt, even if you fail you learn that's the only outcome rather than allowing the overwhelm to completely hold you back and achieve nothing at all feel the fear and do it anyways famous title of that shit book that I've never ever read but the principle I apply changed my life for me to lose well over 60 pounds and actually get to the start line of this fucking marathon don't worry about the 42 kilometers you've left to run just run the first because after that you'll figure it out exactly that i did i ran 42 kilometers in four hours and 38 minutes and it was the biggest pain in the hole ever had to endure i hate marathons but that doesn't mean i'll never do another one because i truly believe as human beings we need a challenge a challenge to change us. and without struggles there is no strength you see going forward now after completing that marathon the next time i face something that's difficult i'll compare it to the marathon and it won't be someone tells me my videos are shit in the comment section well it's not that bad in comparison to what I did in the marathon. I'm having a bad day, well, it's not as bad as having to run 42 kilometers. I get rejected, well, at least I can sit down and relax and not have to feel like my legs were run over by a car. I miss my bus, well, at least I know I can make it home if I live 42 kilometers away. And so in struggle, there is strength, and in challenge, there is change. And so if you need either of those things, you now know how to get them.